Welcome back to House TV Live. I'm Rick Spence, and with me today is Ronald Jones out of Atlanta, Georgia, with R. Jones Designs, doing amazing work. And he's fairly new to House, so you're kind of building your following, which is really exciting. And today you're going to share this really cool penthouse in Buckhead, which is a, a great little area in Atlanta. Let's get a little lay of the land here. So tell me about this building and this opportunity to work here and what you did here. Well, the building's a newly constructed building and uh, was built last year. The penthouse is actually my friend's. Like, we're, like, really close friends. So he was like, I want you to design my place. It came pretty much bare, and we put all in the furniture, paintings, and you name it. The space is about roughly uh, 1,700 square feet. So it's two bedrooms. It has a den area and a living area. It is a corner unit, so it gets in a lot of light. So I wanted to tone it down a little bit. What were the big sort of anchoring items that sort of drove the design? Comfortable furniture. That was his biggest thing. He goes, don't get me any of that little small modern furniture. I really want comfortable furniture. So I sourced a lot of stuff in Atlanta. He definitely entertains a lot. Originally, that floor plan calls for the dining room to be located in the living room area. And so what I did, I did, I, made, I turned the den into the dining room area. So he wanted somewhere private to eat. And so I made the living room somewhere really big and spacious. So we did two sofas, two accent chairs, bar stools. So it really opened that space up. So he does entertain a lot. Other than that, what we added was a lot of custom items to, uh, to his home. That shelf that you see when you walk into the living room, that was a custom shelf built in the Stories Alcohol. Yeah, that's a nice selection in there. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I could just see sitting in those two leather chairs, just oh. just relaxing. Okay, hey, try that. I want you to try this one. And try this one. Look out at the lights. Yeah, you know. it's, that, it's definitely a vibe. Tell me about when you first come into the entry. There's sort of this the, cool looking light with the dice. And one of the, tell me about this vignette here and, and what all this is. He likes to gamble. He likes to poker and play dice and stuff like that. So we got the dice for him. And originally I, I was going to put a mirror when you walked in just to check your stuff out and you leave. But I was like, no, we have enough mirrors in here already. I said, I just wanted to get him something special. So I surprised him with that, the Hermes frame scar. And I took it to a local person and she framed it in like 24 karat gold leaf frame. So that was really cool. I just wanted to put the lamp and the books on top just to give it more of that industrial kind of manly look, you know, masculine. And then when you walk in, you see the kitchen. The light fixtures were already there, but what we did do to make it stand out, we put LEDs everywhere throughout the place. Like we have it in the dining room to the windows, the living room, the island, everything lights up. He wanted to have more like a bachelor, kind of like a party pad, but not a bit classy, you know, nothing like over the top. It's almost like a nightclub in there. It's almost like, it's almost like a very classy nightclub. <laughs> and it's also calming as well too. Like, because you can change the colors of the lights. So I can change the blue, which is a common color, or he's playing like a nice, this relaxing music, it vibes to the lights. And so it's really, it's a really common space in the console there to get a great party place as well. The LEDs shining off from the inside, you can see them on the outside of the patio too as well. So when you're out there, you don't have to have the lights on the patio because the LEDs are coming through the window. So it gives it like another vibe out there as well. How great is it to have the corner unit there? It's amazing. Um, you, you have a great view. You get to see all the bars that we walk to. And like, this is like, it's very peaceful. It's on the 21st floor. So it's not too high up, but you got that view. Now, during the day, this place is very bright. All the yes. lighting, the windows, everything else. And sometimes with the engineered floors, you, there is a sound issue, or maybe they're a little bit louder. Did you work to sort of quiet the space down? It looks like there's a lot of soft furnishings it yes. really made it a little bit more cozy than if, if you didn't have that. Correct. So furniture played a big part in that quieting down the um, house. Because when, when he first moved in, it was empty and it was echoing. And you can definitely hear the footsteps. So definitely a little bit more heavy furniture, wood pieces, wood accents. I'm a big fan of accent pillows. And they have to be down feather pillows. I want to karate chop. The pillows make the room to me, you know, with the accent colors and just it flows. Since he's entertaining a lot, did you think about performance fabric and that kind of thing? Was that important at all? It was important. I wanted to get something that if something was spilt on it, we can wipe it off really quickly. I mean, the fabrics that uh, the soap has come with, they're really durable. So, And lately, we haven't had anybody mess it up. It's been a couple months now, so we've been doing really good. <laughs> Tell me about some of the additional choices in this living area. The coffee table, how it's got sort of that angle to it. And then that light in the corner. The coffee table was bought from um, Westside Market in Atlanta. I was actually with a friend shopping, and he was like, look at this coffee table. And I was like, I passed it. I was like, mm, let me 
me think about it. And then I looked at it again. I was like, you know what? I think that's a, really, I think that might work. It's funky. It's kind of like this and that. So where you're sitting in the living room area, you can, you can put your feet on different sides of it if you want to. I mean, some people don't put the feet on coffee tables, but we're guys, we do that all the time. Right. So, <laughs> the lamp, it was originally a plant was where the lamp was. And so I moved it. And I was like, we just need something to pop out when you walk in the living room. So I was like, we get one of these cool advantage slams. Uh, that was sourced locally from Atlanta as well. So tell me about the little statues. Everyone loves those little statues. Like they're so delicate, but everyone loves them. I just, um, I like little chaskis and little things like that, like the figurines and stuff. If you only knew how many times people knocked it over and I had to replace it. <laughs> but no, like it, I think it just pops. It's different. It's kind of funky. It's kind of like, Oh, what's this? Where are we going now with this? But I like it. <laughs> it was like, did you win an award? Right? It almost right, looks it like a little award. <laughs> Let's go to the artwork. Was this sort of a, a theme that went through the entire space? It's sort of that s symmetry vibe? Very much so. Um, he had a lot of artwork previously from his last house. He goes, hey, I want you to try to incorporate this into your design. I was like, okay. I always like a client to be able to incorporate stuff that they had previously into the new project. So that was really cool for me. In the dining area, tell me about those. Those have a more earthy look to them. Right. Those uh, those he had previously from the last house, and he really, really liked them. They're custom from an artist that he had got them from in Atlanta. And so the whole vibe from that room came from those art pieces, if you can tell, like the furniture, the paint color, the act chairs. I mean, everything came from those paintings. That made, That's what made that room. And in that space, those chairs look like really nice hand carved pieces for sure um they're actually yeah hand carved pieces real leather um got them from a local place in atlanta and then you did sort of you, you know you did the bench in there did that allow just a better flow through that space for sure i i like the bench idea like i always want to stand outside of the box so most people they have like traditional chairs all around tables and i was like you know what just let's do something a little more a little bit more hip you can also fit more people in the dining room as well. Now, you want to talk about pillows. Let's talk <laughs> about this bedroom. This is like Pillow Fest 2020 right here. There's one, two, three. <laughs> pillow mania right here. So you want to start with the pillows? What do you want to start with in the bedroom? All right, let's start with the pillows. It's important to have those pillows because it softens up the room. It makes it look comfortable. It makes you want to hop in bed. It makes you just feel like relaxed to me. So I'm a big fan of accent pillows. And I also think it brings in color in the room as well. Now, in this space, you went with a deeper tone to the walls. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the color in this space and some right. of the different elements. As you know, the, the house is very bright, the condo, like, it was just like this light cream color everywhere. And so even in his bedroom, it was so bright when he would have the shades down or when he would have the shades up. So I really want to soften it up and like kind of put like a masculine feel to it. He does have a girlfriend, so I wanted to make her feel comfortable as well. The bed is made of uh, linen, it's tufted. He's a big fan of Louis Vuitton. So I was at this antique store and I just kept looking. And I was like, so look at this bench. I was like, he'll love this. So I just sent him a picture and he goes, get it now, get it now. <laughs> so basically it's a custom bench and it's actually a Louis Vuitton beach towel and they wrapped it around it and they just made it into a bench. And so he loves it and it worked out pretty good for photos. He's a big watch guy. So I was like, you know, let me just really show it off. I really just wanted to catch it, capture who he really is. I love it. What is the color on the wall? It's on Gauntlet Gray by Sharon Williams. Got a very calming feel to right. it. Right. It's the same um, paint that was used in the dining room as well. Now, what about the lamps in here? They have like a little bit of a almost rustic kind of vibe to them. What's the story with right. the lamps? The lamps, he, this is some of the stuff that he had previously uh, from his hat, last house. He goes, I want you to incorporate some of the things that I had. So those are already, he did a good job on that. So he picked those out himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, we can keep those. He uh, just like, <laughs> when he first moved in, I was like, nope, nope, nope. We can keep that. Nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> well this is a great space congratulations on this ron and uh thank you so much can't can't wait to see more of your wonderful work in atlanta and uh, maybe we'll get an opportunity to do a feature story with one of your clients really great stuff stay busy stay safe and uh we'll be in touch all righty thank all you right. have a great right, day take care